dance, jump around if your body can groove. When the Smart Moves initiative was first announced, like many schools, we did have some concerns about our capacity to timetable this new initiative into our already crowded weekly classroom schedules. We explored all our options to incorporate other key learning areas into physical activities, and at the end of the day, we were able to identify the First Steps Maths program, which our staff had undertaken training in. The program really blended well with yeah. physical activities, and we were able to get kids out of the classroom and into physical activity learning settings, not only undertaking the physical side of things, but also continuing with some of their math studies. The program really worked well because the student engagement was high and our teachers were learning new direct teaching skills which were beyond the traditional classroom. I hope this film will give you some ideas to make smart moves work for your school. You like that? This is a Lucky Dip game where the children come in as a group and Lucky Dip a card out of the box. The cards have positional language on the card, so for example this one is on. So then they have to within 10 seconds go and run and find a spot on the playground that they can go onto. Um, once they've done Five, that we then call them back eight, to come to me. Off. And then we start the activity again. We've been able to incorporate smart moves with the beanbag toss. Each beanbag has a number printed on it, so the team captain then has to throw it to the matching disc. The rest of the team members then have to walk that many steps on the cups. So it's not only incorporating number consolidation, students are also practicing balancing and aiming skills. Who runs if I call it even? Even numbers. The children get a number and we've been exploring odds and evens in the classroom. So they know that if the number ends in a 2, 4, 6 or an 8, it's an even number. If not, it's an odd number. So we're bringing that math element into it. Let's go even. I've choose two children to be the taggers. They're responsible for tagging the children as they run across. If they get tagged, then they have to stand on the spot and they're responsible for tagging the other children. Okay, boys and girls, this morning when we do our obstacle course, we're going to incorporate some counting into it. Okay, who can remember from last lesson what do we use when we went through the poles? We count in twos, okay? So when you go through the poles this time, go two, four, six, eight. When we get to the hurdles, what are we going to count in? Fives. Finally, when we get to the hoops, we're going to count in tens. So we're going to count in 10, 20, 30, 40. Run up to the hoop, pick up your card, work out what the number is, call it out nice and loudly, run back, put it on the stepping stone, and then the next person goes. Two. That's it, good job, Jenny. The subitising relay is a really good activity because you can assess whether the children that are still at the additive phase where they're counting in ones, and those who have moved on to the multiplicative stage where they're counting in groups. Uh, it's not really so much about the activity as having active minds and active bodies. Okay, guys, remember with the 10 pin bowling, you have to record how many out of 10 that you knock over, what the decimal fraction is. Okay, so Pooty, you just made a strike. How many are down? 10 out of 10, one is about zero. Brilliant, well done. All right, guys, we're going to do our daily fitness challenges. Remember on the step, partners on the ground, you count as they come back down on to the ground. People in the hoops, one count when it hits the bottom. Straight up, over your head, drop it. That's counted as one. Ski jumps, either side of the line. They have to get back to where they started from to be one jump. You must record their results to be able to graph it properly later. Okay, guys, the probability game. Remember, around run around the outside of the cones. When I blow the whistle, you run in. Whoever grabs the ball first, hold it up, call out the number. That's how many people have to go in the hoop. Obviously the aim of the game is to kick that ball as far as you possibly can, guys. You can either score 25 points from the yellow 
score 55 points from the blue sign or 95 points from the red sign. Obviously the further you kick it, the further you can run. Once you get back, graph those results onto your um, worksheet. Make sure it's nice and neat. Make sure you use your ruler as well. Teaching the kids uh, numbers in an entertaining way, I involve them in activity. So the first game is designed to give them some activity to move around to, but also to help them focus their uh, ears on the words and then to work together to make the group. Go! Go! Each knee, sign, she go. 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 Today we're going to uh, mix your maths with your PE and we're going to graph your heart rates. So, what we're looking for is your resting heart rate before we start skipping and then we're going to skip for about a minute and then take your heart rate after a minute of skipping. Then we're going to graph the results to see the changes. Remember your scores and we're starting now. So what you have in front of you is your maths books with all the right equipment. I want you to, first of all, draw up your X and Y axis. This is the Y axis and we decided to go up in tens. And this is the X axis and it's got people's names who did the skipping. We are doing this for our PE maths. First thing we're going to be doing is to record our resting pulse. So if you can do that for me now, please. Now, group one, put your hand up. You are going to be doing the star jumps there. Group two, you are going to be doing sprints there. Group three, you're going to be doing the dice over there. When we graph the number of star jumps we do, for example, what do we expect to see over a week or two weeks of uh, recordings? The lower your pulse rate, it should indicate that you are that much, much fitter. You've got the strength, you've got the will, you've got the heart, you've got the skill. Just open up your door. Let's get started. Moving, gotta keep the ball rolling. I'm only listening is to stand here and wait. Get started. Okay, great groups of two. We have incorporated the Smart Moves program into our maths program so that the children are active and running outside at the same time as learning about number. They've found it really uh, beneficial, they enjoy moving, particularly the boys. They do a lot of running and they're doing subitising where they're learning instant number recognition. Now this is your time, don't let another day go by, you gotta work, you gotta try for more. What we've done today is endeavour to show you that it's possible to integrate a variety of key learning areas into student physical activity irrespective of the level of resourcing within your school. Probably the most important resource of all is the shared understanding that you need to have between your staff, your students and equally as important, your parent community. As the PNC President it's good to see the school's equipment being used in the mass curriculum with smart moves. Um, it's been very positively received by the, by the children and uh, as a parent, my kids are loving it. It's, it's, it's great to see in the school. We 